Hello and welcome to a new video about my Auger car. The, my solution for finding an application for my stepper motors. Now that you know what I try to do, I have to say we have a totally different set of, of, of requirements. Now we want to drive a stepper motor faster or slower. Uh, so, but a continuous rotation. Maybe this is also not the best uh, situation for a stepper motor, but I want to reach this. Right? So actually for the stepper motor, I just have to put, if I put one signal on, on the pin of the motor driver, it will do one step. And uh, if I do this one, one tuk, fast, it will turn fast. If I do it slow, it will turn slow. And this is actually what I try to reach now. Therefore, I'm going to use my timeout library. I have, I have pimped my timeout library a little bit. Uh, because now it can also do milliseconds, microseconds, sorry, microseconds. So if I now add a new timeout, yeah, uh, and I will call it step timeout. And for now, I will say 5,000 microseconds. And now I can add here true. And now this timer is working with microseconds. This is actually nice. From the old program, I'm going to use some defines. Step pin, direction pin. I'm not going to use this stepper motor. I am I going to add the pin modes. Now serial. And now the standard stuff, right? Good. Good. Should work. Now. I want to have the speed from 10,000, what shall reflect 100% to minus 10,000. And I will do a second timeout. Speed change. And this shall be every two seconds. So this should already change the speed every two seconds, the speed from, maybe it is a little bit two seconds is a, I'll make it 500 milliseconds because we are speeding down in 10,000 10, steps. Hmm. Ah, I don't really care. Let's see if this is working at all. So, and if the speed is bigger than 99.9%, .9%, I will count down. If the speed is then smaller than minus 99.99%, .99%, I will count up again. Mm -hmm. This should work, hopefully. And now, if speed is smaller than zero, I will set the direction spin in one direction. I don't really care now. And else in the other direction. Good, so this is handled in speed change. Uh, and now, if we have a timeout at, what was the name, step timeout? From the speed, we have to calculate somehow the, the, the value. And I will make it like that. If speed is not equal to zero, new timeout equals 100 and if speed is not equal to zero I will say new timeout equals this would be 100% I want to have it 100 divided by the absolute value of speed 
then if speed is 100%, I will get 100. Yeah? Then we always wait 100 microseconds for the next step. I have again a static. Pulse on equals false. What is this now? This, I will set this, yeah? Pulse on equals not pulse on. So this will toggle now, this pulse on, every time I get a speed timeout and I just have to write now, digital, digital write on the step pin, pulse on. And I will turn both with the same speed. Ah, the, the step timeout I also have to set. Set timeout. And this shall be in the new, new timeout. That many microseconds we are waiting for the next time. Mm -hmm. And therefore, 0.print new timer. Let's see what this is, what the values are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. This should work. Let's upload this. I can't read anything. Print line would be better. Would have been better. Upload once again. All right, now I turn on. Oh, they're moving. This is not what I expected. <laughs> At least <laughs> I was already eager to know if the the one motor I have I have had opened if this is working again and it seems to work okay this is good but what is going on here I will make a printout of the speed What I notice is now significantly uh, slower. Why is it slower? Because of additional printout. They are moving the same. Maybe I'm just too fast. Maybe I'm just too fast. Yeah. You know what? I will. It's looking, everything looks like it would work okay. I'm removing all these outputs. I would expect them now to be faster, to be moving faster. The rotation change is, is working. Remove all, all the outputs. Oh, what is with the enable pin? Ha <laughs> ha! Is this maybe a problem? I was, I want to see how, how serial now is reduced. In five seconds. It should reduce every five seconds. This is not, this is not, this is strange. Ah, man, goat hands. Speed change set now. Oh, great. 
would we have seen maximum possible? Maximum possible. The speed change was too fast. Okay, now it's too slow. Good. Let's see if I am using here 500 milliseconds. Because I already doubted the, 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 myself. It's not too often, but sometimes it's happening. <laughs> Okay, it's too slow either. Let's say every 10 milliseconds. Yes. I think this is sufficient. Remove all this stuff and see if it is working again. But with the enable pin, this is also something. I will set the enable pin to zero. Here, to be sure, now it should be enabled, and we should see it running, hopefully. It's really slowing down. Okay. Great, so this is working now. So I can indeed, with this little program, I can indeed control the speed of the, the two stepper motors. And so I can also control the speed of my two screw drives, of my two augers. And then I should be able to go in this and this and this in every direction, hopefully. There will be still some It's working. Good. Good. So for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.